Hello, how's it going? My name's Adam. This is my review for the album Ranted by Ranted. It's their 1993 debut studio album and it consists of Tim Armstrong on vocals and guitar, Matt Freeman on bass and vocals, and Brett Reed on drums and on backing vocals. Um, the album came out in 90, uh, and Lars Fredriksson isn't on this album, but he um, did tour with this album apparently. So, yeah. Uh, it came out in 1993, as I say. Um, it's around the time when Green Day and Offspring and bands such as those were sort of being accepted by record labels and big money was starting to be put into that kind of alternative sound. Um, with the help of the grunge bands that sort of led the way in that kind of um, acceptance of alternative music into the mainstream. Um, Rancid had a very uh, similar sound to, uh, and still do to this day really, to The Clash, um, but they had their own stamp on it, they had their, very much their own identity and they were always Rancid, but they did were definitely, definitely heavily influenced by The Clash. Um, especially you can sort of hear it on, in Tim Armstrong's um, Joe Strummer, Paul Simonon type vocals very slurry but really good vocals, I, l I love the vocals Matt Freeman's vocals on this album or, or on future albums I've never been that keen on his vocals but they do fit with the songs and they do fit with the aggression of the song but I'd, something about his vocals I'm not too keen on his bass playing however is fucking outstanding he's one of my favourite bassists um, I'll play bass as well and I'd love to be half as or even like a quarter as good or just a little tiny little bit as good as fucking Matt Freeman is because he's so fast and punchy and this very much um, is the sort of core sound to this particular album it's very bass driven um, and songs such as The Bottle they're very sort of great uh, bass sort of solos and so fast and cool um, it's, this is a very sort of, it's a lot more um, aggressive, it's a lot more punky I guess than some of their later albums, although it's punk all the way through, but later on they start to bring in a little bit more melody and there's a bit more catchiness to, this, to the albums, um, but this album in particular you know, hints at that in the future with songs such as Hyena. The Rats in the Hallway, they're my favourite standout tracks, very catchy, fucking awesome songs um, and it just makes me want to just dance around and pogo about and just, I just fucking, I love Rancid, they're a great, great band. Uh, this album is probably one of the albums I, I, of theirs that I, I'll admit listen to the least, but it's nonetheless an awesome album, it's a fantastic start for what was a fantastic career. I'm going to be reviewing all seven, um, well, all six after this one, albums, studio albums uh, at some point, and mainly because I just love the band. Um, and I'll be telling you which one my favourite album is, and you know, I'm just going to be reviewing it through there. Um, so, yeah, Rancid, awesome band. Awesome, awesome debut album. Um, Rad's also, um, sorry, Tim Armstrong and Matt Freeman were also in the band Operation Ivy as well, previously to this one, um, and this was their sort of their sort of follow-on band from that. And boy, did they follow on. Operation Ivy were a great band. This band, fantastic, fucking awesome, stupendous, amazing band. So yeah. Rancid. I would give this album two thumbs up.